But still, isn't it almost too neat of a coincidence that this turned out to be a shrine of trials? I believe it. There's vermilion ore all over the place after all. Good point. Vermilion ore is only formed in the aftermath of the use of powerful fire seraphic arts. By powerful, you mean like Lila's arts? I'm afraid not. My flames are yet too weak to create vermilion ore. Meaning there's an art user out there even stronger than Lila. So this is the Shrine of Musif, one of the Five Lords. He was the first Seraph to call forth flame. It is said that he appears only at the beginning and the end of the world. Meaning we don't want to meet him. So... now what do we do? That stone slab sure looks fishy. Don't know what it is, but maybe we can take a stab at it. Take a slab at it. Ancient lettering. It's not encrypted or anything. I can read it. To those of good will who would stand against evil. Place thine hands upon the monuments in the cardinal directions, and my, Musif's purifying flames shall be bequeathed unto thee. Whoa, dang, you're all smart and stuff. Eh, I like ruins. So, what does it mean? Well, um, basically, if we put our hands over the four monuments, We'll get the power of Musef, I guess. Well, shoot, that sounds easy enough. Oh, no. There! Must be his domain. Focus your efforts! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Touch the monument, and we can break the domain! We're back! Guys! Yes! We broke through the domain! And my burns healed, too! Now, we're finally evenly matched! Blue flag! Blue flag! Here it goes! Find it 
I would think not. Despite appearances, this one isn't a Hellion. Well spotted. This form you see is but a facade. May we presume you are one of the Protector Seraphim who serves the Lord Musif? Quite so. I am Exio, the Protector Seraph of Fire. <laughs> were you acting as a Hellion just to test us? I needed to verify you were worthy of receiving the blessing. Be not aggrieved. And the result? You passed the trial of strength. Accordingly, I shall grant you the power of music, deity of fire amongst the five lords. Lift up your sword. Thank you, Exio. These flames shall carve the binding brand. Binding brand? It is very simple. Choose either yourself or your fire seraph, and with these flames, char their face. Huh? Don't fret, you're not going to die. That is not the problem. You sought to undertake this trial. Are you not prepared for the consequences? Answer me, Shepard! To whom shall you direct those flames? What shall they scorch? Die! Doesn't attempt to carry the burden entirely alone. In its enormity, it will surely wound you. And then, once more. And I cannot allow the same mistake to happen. I'm so sorry. I wasn't myself. Beth Miss Mioma! Incredible. Whoa, what was that power? The spiritual power of fire left by Musif. The power needed to break the Hellion's domain and to stand against the Lord of Calamity. An excellent answer, Shepard. A Hellion? Wasn't it purified? Not a Hellion. This is my true form. Oh? Well, I guess that's all right then. <laughs> Nothing gets past you. Just what I'd expect from one who passed both trials. Ah, so it was a test of strength and spirit. Let us exchange introductions once again, Shepard Soray. I am the Seraph Exio. So this was all intentional? Pretty devious of you. Unavoidably so, yes. It is the Shepherd's fate to oppose the deviousness of humans. If the theatrics were perhaps a little much, well, I was after all once human myself. Really? My, my, you really don't know anything, do you? Long have I been a Seraph, but I was not born as one. two types of Seraphim. Those who were born into it, and humans who became Seraphim at some point. Is that right? That's news to me. So, were the turtles Seraphim just turtles before? You're Lila, correct? You obtained the, the flames case. of purification through the Norman Seraphim came from just Norman. 
Hold on a sec. It must what have taken great Norman? determination. What was it you they lost look sort of like bears, the power? But they also have mousy kind of bits, too. Nothing. Then just by why being just here, Saray gives me back far more than I ever lost. That would just be too easy. Hmm. I... what now? Oh, nothing. I was just saying you're like an apple gel. You both restore health and taste great. Huh? Ha ha ha. For a shepherd, you're more amusing than I had expected. What's that supposed to mean? People keep saying things like that. I'm sure it's a good thing. Come on, let's go. Three trials yet remain. Keep your wits about you and be ever steadfast. Is that a monolith? Are really like. Yeah, sounds like something a brat would say. Shepard! We managed to overcome the trial. Now we have a chance against the malevolence of the Cardinal. The Fortin I remember was sincere and devout, with a sense of responsibility second to none. How could she do something like this? No, perhaps I don't have the right to say such things. Malevolence in the hearts of mankind sure is complicated. Yeah. I do hope we find a way to bring salvation to them. Someday. Agreed. 
If anyone can do it, you can. That's so. There's more of those dogs now. Maybe Dezel has some new friends? Well, that's no good. He's talking with those dogs. From a normal person's perspective, I bet we don't look any less weird. Don't lump me together with those mutts. But the dogs do feel the same, in a good way. Those dogs are so mature. If they're mature, then so am I. Give me some credit for once. Shepard, there you are. The Church has asked the Emperor to have the Platinum Knights subdued and disbanded. They have been accused of instating a false Shepard and plotting a rebellion. That was quick. Do you think they already got word of events in Gadadin? This is because I got involved. You're no fake. They're just making up excuses to do what they want. Go see the Captain in the Knight's Tower if you want to know more. Cardinal Fortin, we can't underestimate her for a second. Well, I'm ready on my end. Bring it on, church lady. Soray, Thank goodness you're safe. Is it true the Cardinal has ordered the suppression of the Knights? It is. I suspect this letter we received was the last straw.
I, Boris Strelka, have witnessed Cardinal Fortin engaging in an unspeakable ritual. Using vile magic in the Holy Shrine, the Cardinal is unleashing incessant rains upon Pendrago. The Cardinal is the one making it rain? You can't be serious! Considering the power of her domain, it isn't all that far-fetched. There are Seraphim out there who've moved the continent. Moved the whole continent? Saray, let's continue reading. Cardinal Fortin is the evil behind the ongoing curse of the Empire and its people. Regrettably, I have already fallen prey to the curse of the Cardinal. I entrust the rest to my brother, Sergei, and my comrades. If it's come to this, then we have no choice but to fight against the Cardinal. Soray, where's the Pope? There's something I need to tell everyone about that, but you might not like it. I see. So he's not coming back. I'm sorry for deciding without you. The Pope isn't coming back? But now what? He was our shield! We've been betrayed! It is we, the Knights, who shield the Empire and its people! It is we who shoved our duties onto the Pope! It is we who are to blame for the consequences! Some things we must do ourselves, rather than depend on others! I swear on my Lion's Sword! On my Lion's Sword! Wait! No ordinary humans can hope to take on the Cardinal. You've done more than enough. I do not wish for you to bear the same painful burden that the Pope had to. You know, Saray, even if it is for the people, this is still a political battle. So what if it is? Well then, how about this? We'll investigate the Cardinal's possible involvement regarding the rain from our end. In the meantime, Sergei and the others can try to convince the Emperor to believe the Knights. So... Ultimately, Sore needs to fight the Cardinal after all. Our goal is just to clear up this mystery. Don't you want to know? Yes, I do. I'd like to find out if there truly is something causing the rain. I must apologize. It seems all I can do is put you in danger. I'm more worried about you. If the Emperor sides with the Cardinal or takes a hands-off approach, either way, you guys are screwed. If we can convince the Emperor, we should be able to capture the Cardinal. We'll get him to see the truth, for the people and our comrades. Boris was Sergei's brother, wasn't he? He was investigating the Cardinal, and he put his life on the line for it. Sergei seemed pretty calm about the whole thing. Do we really have to risk our necks out there for something like this? I think we do. I don't know about you, though. <laughs> no guards? This has got to be a trap. Things are gonna get crazy from here on out. <laughs> you said it. You got it! Yes! But... even so... This is some malevolence. Do you think that it could be Maltellus who's possessing the Cardinal? What did the cat in the bird mask say? Me Owl! Felt like the domain had been restored for a second. Are terrible jokes also part of your oath? I... I was really proud of that one. I'm thinking it's not Maltellus. Why? Are you serious? Exio was a servant of Musif, like one of the five lords like what? Maltellus. I don't! This domain is rather strong, but not leaps and bounds different from Exio's. I huh. knew it! When did you start making logical arguments? What's that? 
There's something back there. It's a trap. Totally a trap. But... A hidden door? Seriously, how cool is that? I hate myself for saying it, but... So cool. The village chief knew the whole thing by heart, didn't he? Impressive. The shepherd is granted four powers. Earth, water, fire, and wind. They are the blade that shall cleave the Lord of Calamity. That's just what the village chief was saying. You memorized it? More or less. He's actually pretty decent at that sort of thing. I'm sorry, Saray. You're more capable than I thought. What did you take me for? But what exactly are the spiritual powers of the shepherd? All of nature is composed of four elements. Earth, water, fire, and wind. Each one is governed by one of the four eldest seraphim. Right. Eumacia, Amanak, Yusuf, and Hyanua. Correct. They maintain the balance of the entire continent of Glenwood. When you put it that way, they sound almost like gods. Though, they lack a certain divine presence. We feel much the same, actually. They're ostensibly the source of our seraphic arts, but we're basically never aware of them. That's the nature of the Five Lords' existence. The Shepherd's spiritual powers are most likely the result of a fortification of elemental affinity through the blessings of the Five Lords. And all to battle against the Lord of Calamity. Kind of a shame that such wondrous power has to be squandered on fighting. He was a former shepherd, wasn't he? Yes. I see. He seemed like a pretty laid-back fellow. Unlike certain other shepherds. Shut up. Well, there's one more thing we learned. Yeah. Let's go on to the next one. Huh? Wait, you're not gonna ask her for more details? Wouldn't it be crazy useful to get info on your predecessor? There's a reason why Lila never mentioned it, don't you think? We know that much, at least. Saray, Niklio. But that reason just might be the key to all our problems. You better hope you don't regret it later. They may be kids, but they're not as immature as you'd think. As long as you, I guess. You don't sound too sure. Did you just meet him recently? Well, I guess. Kind of recently. I can't stand to watch this, but I'm not sure I want to join in. I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. Here I thought devils only existed in books. For real? Anything goes at this point. Be sure to watch out for its spear. Huh? I'm fine. Let's go on ahead. Here, 
I'll do you a favor. Snacks are done. around and win. What about swinging an umbrella around? Don't under Security! This is what looks like some sort of priest to me. And I have a feeling it's pretty good with arts from the way it looks. Don't judge a book by its cover. I think it's time to take a breather somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> 